Hey guys, MovieFan356 here, and um, we're continuing Superhero September 2014, and we're continuing my Batman movie series reviews, and uh, if you guys liked uh, the first video uh, for Superhero September, give it a thumbs up, tell your friends that I'm doing this, and hopefully, I really want you guys to tell your friends about Halloween Horror Month, because I'm super excited for that. And uh, if you saw the last video, the, I kicked it off with uh, Tim Burton's Batman. And we're going to continue it today with Batman Returns. And now Batman Returns came out in 1992. It was also directed by Tim Burton. And it is the follow-up to uh, Batman. And basically the plot of this movie is the city knows that they can trust Batman now. Um, he saved the day from the Joker. And now... There's this new uh, w weird thing going on in Gotham City. Um, and uh, the Penguin wants to become mayor and they all, um, you know, all of Gotham City loves uh, the Penguin or as he's really named, uh, Oswald Cobblepot. And, um, you know, he the city loves him but Batman doesn't think that he can trust him and he doesn't think that the city is safe. And that's basically the plot of the movie. There's some other stuff that, that goes on, but I'll kind of talk about some of those things. But this movie stars Michael Keaton back as Batman. You get Michelle Pfeiffer playing Selena Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman. And you get Danny DeVito playing Oswald Cobblepot slash The Penguin. And you also get Christopher Walken in here as um, Max Shrek. <laughs> Michael Goh is back as Alfred Pennyworth. And, uh, you know, Pat Hingle's back as... Uh, Commissioner Gordon, which I didn't really talk about at first in my, my first review, but I'll get into Commissioner Gordon in, in this one. Um, now, what I think of Batman Returns is I, I like it. I know a lot of people don't really like it that much. They say it's a bad film, but to me, it's got that nostalgia factor. And because I watched these movies so much growing up, uh, I do like it. And uh, watching it as an adult... I, uh, you know, I, watching the movies the way I do, I analyze them, I dig deep into them. Um, and I really don't think this movie's all that bad. Now, let's talk about Michael Keaton as Batman is, once again, fantastic. I mean, I said in my review for, for the first one, I love Michael Keaton as Batman. He's not my favorite, or uh, he, he is my favorite Batman, but he's not my favorite Bruce Wayne. Selena Kyle or uh, Michelle Pfeiffer as Selena Kyle, aka Bat. Or uh, this this review, I I don't know. It's late. I'm recording more than one video in one night, um, so I don't know where where my head's at. Michelle Pfeiffer as Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman. Wow, you want to talk about sexy? Uh, now, I know this isn't exactly the best adaptation of Catwoman or anything, but you got to admit, love or hate this movie, Catwoman was a hell of a lot better in this movie than that fucking Halle Berry shit that we got. Um, I mean, she's sexy, she kicks ass, uh, her acting's pretty good in this film for the, for the most part. She's got a couple parts where it's over the top, but whatever. Um... Danny DeVito as Oswald Cobblepot the Penguin. Creepy. Wow. You know, Oswald Cobblepot, you know, I've always known him. He, he was a bad dude, but he was never really all that creepy, t to me anyway. And the Batman in the, the animated series, he had some, some creepy things going on. But this is fucking creepy as hell. Uh, and I love Danny DeVito as uh, the, the Penguin. And uh, I wish he would come back to do Penguin again. But, you know, obviously it's going to be a different universe. It's going to be a different tone and everything. So the Penguin won't look like the Penguin anymore. But I think Danny DeVito played the perfect Penguin for what was in the script and, and the story and all that. Um, Christopher Walken as Max Shrek. I mean, what can I say about that? It's it's Christopher Walken, you know? Uh, you know, I, I, you know it, it, Christopher Walken and... That's that's my Christopher Walken. I know it, it's bad. Uh huh. Excuse me, Mister Penguin, sir. I don't know how to, you know, explain this to you. It's it's getting bad. 
I'll stab Batman in the face with a soldering iron. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just going to stop with the Christopher Walken and I'm moving on to Michael Goff. Or Go. I never know how to pronounce his last name. Um, As Alfred. I already kind of talked about Alfred in my first Batman review. I like him as Alfred. This was the Alfred that I grew up on and I think he did pretty well. I even thought he was okay in the ones that I don't like. Um... Uh, let's see, who else can we talk about? Oh, yes, Pat Hingle as Commissioner Gordon in the film. Um, he's okay, but I don't like, uh, the relationship between Batman and Commissioner Gordon in these movies. I, I don't. He's, I, 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 I just don't like their re relationship in these films. It's like they're acquaintances. They're not really, I mean, Commissioner Gordon and Batman aren't really friends I, I i well i guess they are kind of friends actually but not not in these um some stuff i liked about this film was some stuff i didn't like this one uh it's kind of keeping that uh serious dark tone to it that the first one had but it's adding a lot more tim burton feels to it because warner brothers said holy shit uh batman was a success tim burton do your thing on the second one. And I wish Warner Brothers wouldn't have told him that because he did. He made this Tim Burton's Batman. Um, it's just some of the stuff is over the top and cartoony. And I don't care for some of the stuff that was in this film. The Penguin trying his ultimate plan. Spoilers! Um, his ultimate plan is to get all the firstborn children... Um, in Gotham City, down to the sewers, so they can, I guess, be like him. I, I don't really, I, I kind of like that, to an extent. Um, the Emperor Penguins with the missiles, though, really, really, Tim Burton. I, I don't know. So, guys, overall, there's some stuff I liked about Batman Returns. Some stuff I didn't like. I don't hate this film like a lot of people do. I still have fun with it. I still watch this a lot. Um, yeah, there, there's just... I mean, I don't know what else to say really about this film. I mean, I think all of you guys have pretty much watched Batman Returns. Uh, the score, Danny Elfman's score, which I did not touch on, and this is going to be my last chance to talk about Danny Elfman's score for the Batman films. Um... Danny Elfman's score, when you hear that Batman theme, you know, the da 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 you know, you know it's Batman. And it's fucking phenomenal. It fits with the tone. Prince did not come back to do the soundtrack for this, thank God. It wouldn't have fit with this one. Um, but Danny Elfman, I'm glad they got him back to compose the score for this, mu for this movie. It's just, it fits. All of that stuff being said... I'm going to give Batman Returns a B plus. Uh, like I said, I like it. There's some stuff that I don't like. But overall, as a film, I, I, I enjoy it. I have fun with it. So, guys, that's all I can say for today. I think I pretty much touched on all the big points here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.